So here it's zero throttle. If I fully open the throttle, I go down to 1.4 k ohm. And if I really gently it increase the resistance, okay, but at some point becomes very complicated at the, near the end. So here I'm fully open, my throttle is fully open and I release it very gently. So the resistance goes up quite smoothly and at some point here, you see, I'm releasing the, the throttle but resistance doesn't change. I continue, boom, and I'm fully down. So I should be ideal and the resistance is very, very large. And if I open very slowly the throttle, you see what happens? And maybe I'm 10% of throttle. Release it again. I, I pull the throttle a little bit. You see what happens? The resistance becomes quite infinite and then decrease. So it looks like the throttle is, the TPS sensor is uh, damaged at the very low end of the resistance or at the very low end of the of the throttle position so i have a new one uh, i will dismantle this one When I open the throttle, you see it changes, it moves. So here it's, it looks okay here. Problem is in the sensor, I think. I will compare the two sensors. So we installed the new one. Very simple, you cannot miss. My throttle is fully closed. So I'm near three dot something kilo. Oh, and I open the throttle and it's gently decreasing this is fully open I release it slowly and it's quite smooth so and if I open it and release looks nice okay Let's try to fire it up. Huh? Let's fire the motorcycle. Then we need to reset the TPS sensor. So switch the back, the bike on. Slowly open the throttle to full open, then release it. We'll do it two times. Okay, switch it off. And now switch it on again. And hopefully the EDL should be just fine. It works. Very steady. Beetle.